Hey guys, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to tell you about the 5 best fitness features of Gear S3 Frontier. So let's go ahead and take a look at these features without any further delay. Now the first very impressive fitness feature of this device is the auto activity tracking ability. So what happens is that whenever the watch detects that you are doing some kind of activity for more than 10 minutes, either walking, cycling or swimming and stuff like that, it will start to record that activity and it will start to you know attract that activity and at the end of that activity it will tell you that your workout was detected then it will also provide you with some stats so to turn this feature on simply go in settings and in s health app and in s health app go all the way in settings and in settings you will see this option called workout detection so in workout detection you can turn these features on so walking running cycling elliptical trainer rowing machine and dynamic workout now dynamic workout is anything that is not listed here so if you're walking running cycling elliptical training rowing machine it will detect that but if you're doing anything other than these activities that would come in dynamic workout and it will start to detect so it's a very good feature if you forget to you know track your activity walking cycling whatever you're doing the watch will do that for you however the stats that it will provide you at the end of the activity will not be as um you know um detailed as they would be if you had started it manually now the second very impressive feature that i want to talk about is the number of activities that this watch can track and it's a huge list so to go to that go to sl tab and here look for activity of any kind so here we go we are at walking tap on it and you get the activity type here you get all these activities that you can track so we have running walking cycling hiking elliptical trainer exercise bike step machine treadmill lunges crunches squats and star jumps pilates yoga rowing machine and other workouts so that's dynamic workout anything that does not fit into these categories will be in other workout so you can do all that and track these activities now there are some other things here uh, for example you can set the target so you can set the duration as a target distance as a target calories as a target and basic workout then you can turn the location on auto pause auto pause is if you stop doing that activity the you know activity will pause here as well and whenever you will resume it it will resume to detect that activity automatically so for example if i'm walking and if i stop walking it will just pause itself and if I start walking again it will auto resume itself and then you can set guided intervals so you can you know set it none if you don't want any guidance so you can set it at uh, you know distance and then time and every hour next feature that I want to mention here is called nudges so go in SL tab once again and go all the way in settings and in settings you will see this option called health nudges so go in health nudges and here you can you know turn on these and here you can turn on these nudges so you can turn on inactive time steps floors exercise sleep and weekly summary so what it does is that if you have been inactive for over an hour the watch will nudge you and will tell you that you have been inactive for over an hour just get up and walk and you know stretch and stuff like that and if you have achieved your steps target it will tell you about that as well and if you have achieved your flow target exercise target and if you have slept it will tell you about those notifications as well so it will keep you informed of your uh, health activities and your fitness activities all the time now inactive time is one of my favorite features here because it really tells me when i've been inactive or have been sitting for over an hour it will just you know nudge me to stand up stretch or go for a walk and stuff like that so really keeps you on your toes and it's a very impressive feature while we are here i want to mention the next feature that i want to talk about and that is the sleep monitoring so if you turn on this sleep option here what the watch will do that it will monitor your sleep as well provided you wear it to your bed as well so uh, i know it's a big device uh, to wear it's a big watch it's bulky and stuff like that but if this is what you have and you want to monitor your sleep it can do that and it does that very well and i've been doing it uh, at first it's a little bit uncomfortable to sleep with this you know bulky device but with time you get used to it and it really disappears in the background and you don't notice it anymore but anyways if you go to sleep while wearing this watch it will monitor your sleep and it will give you this detailed account of your sleep so after you have woken up it will give you this notification and 
that says sleep record so just tap on it and it will give you your complete sleep record so here it's telling me that i slept for one hour and 49 minutes efficiency was 80 percent now you get these bars so these blue bars is actually the time that i have been motionless completely so that's one hour and this uh, you know light blue color is light sleep and i've been restless for 30 minutes so that's a lot actually and if you want to see some more details about your sleep you can then switch over to the sl tap on your device once the gear s3 data syncs with it you will get all of this data on your smartphone so just you know fire up the sl app and here you will get your sleep data and here it's telling me again the same things efficiency was 80 percent actual sleep time was 1 hour 28 minutes and light was light sleep was 19 minutes but here it's also telling me that i burned 161 calories while sleeping so that's really cool and then you get to rate your sleep as well and it keeps all the record of your you know sleep now the last feature that i want to talk about is one of the most impressive features as well and i didn't think at first that it would be really that important but with time i have realized that it's been really motivating for me and i've been really um, you know trying to keep up with it so it's something called together so if you go in as health app here you will see this option called uh, among my age group and challenges just tap on it and here you get to see the challenges so you can start step challenges with your friends and it lasts for a week and you can go all the way up to 100,000 steps and if you do not complete this challenge in a week it will be a draw so for that your friend also need to have gear s3 and should have his number registered with the SL app uh, so there is that and then you get this leaderboard here so among my age group I am at 49 person and here it tells you uh, the data about how the average S health user stacks up against mine so average user is at 41,000 steps I am at 39,000 they are doing it 33 kilometers every week so it's the data is for last seven days and I'm doing 30 kilometers and they're burning 2042 calories and I'm actually burning more calories because I don't know why. So this is something you can also see on the SL app on your smartphone. Just turn on the SL app and here you get to see these two tabs, me and together, going together. And you can see all these, you know, uh, st uh, stats here as well. So again, you can do that and then you can change the option from here. Uh, between friends and all users and my age group so you've got three tabs up top and you can see where you stand up uh, fitness wise but you can also start step challenges from here from this uh, app sl app on your phone so just go and create challenge select a friend and your friend needs to have gear s3 and should have his number registered then it will show up here and then you can fire up the challenge and once you do that you can then uh, select step target whether 10,000, 30,000, 50, 70, and 100,000. So that's about it. Those were the five best fitness features of Gear S3 Frontier smartwatch. Go ahead. If you own this watch, give them a try if you haven't. And I would love to hear your feedback in the comments. And that's about it in this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.